Welcome to Pigeon Auction. In today's video, we'll dive into one of the most feared viruses in the world of racing, Pigeon's rotavirus. We'll cover everything you need to know about this virus, from its history to the symptoms it causes, and how you can protect your birds from it. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more content on racing pigeon health and care. Like this video, leave a comment below with your thoughts, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay updated. The world of racing pigeons often faces health challenges, and rotavirus is one of the most concerning. Rotavirus is a highly contagious virus that primarily affects the digestive system of pigeons, causing serious illness. It was first identified in the 1970s and has become more dangerous since then with more aggressive strains appearing in the 2000s. The virus spreads rapidly in racing lofts where pigeons live in close quarters, making it easy for the disease to infect entire flocks. Veterinarians have confirmed that rotavirus in pigeons causes severe digestive issues, leading to devastating losses for breeders. But where did it all start? Let's take a look at the history of this virus in racing pigeons. Part 2, History of Rotavirus in Racing Pigeons. Rotavirus was first discovered in pigeons in Australia, where it caused significant mortality, particularly among young birds. Early symptoms resembled other digestive illnesses, so it took time to identify rotavirus as the cause. Since its discovery, the virus has spread to Europe, especially in Germany, Belgium and Denmark, where researchers confirmed the presence of rotavirus strains similar to the Australian ones. Over time, the virus evolved, becoming more virulent. Racing pigeon events, where birds from different lofts come together, have played a key role in spreading the disease globally. Scientists are still studying the virus to understand its full impact. But it's clear that rotavirus is a major threat to pigeon fanciers worldwide. Part 3. Symptoms of rotavirus in pigeons. So, how does rotavirus affect racing pigeons? The virus primarily attacks the intestinal tract, leading to watery diarrhea, which can quickly dehydrate the bird. Other early symptoms include loss of appetite, lethargy and rapid weight loss. Infected pigeons often become too weak to fly, and in severe cases the virus can lead to death. Rotavirus particularly impacts young pigeons who are more vulnerable to long-term effects. These symptoms not only harm the bird's health, but also severely affect their racing performance. Pigeons that survive may never regain their full strength and agility, which is a big concern for breeders aiming to raise champions. Part 4. Solutions and Prevention of Rotavirus Now let's talk about how to prevent and manage rotavirus. Since it is a viral disease, prevention is key. First, hygiene in your loft is crucial. Clean the perches, waterers and feeders regularly to prevent contamination. Pigeons should always have access to clean water and it's essential to isolate any sick birds immediately to stop the virus from spreading. Maintaining strong immune systems in your pigeons is also important. A balanced diet rich in vitamins and minerals can help them fight off infections. Probiotics and digestive supplements can also be useful in supporting gut health. If your pigeons do get infected, there's no direct cure for rotavirus, but supportive care can help. Hydration is key so provide electrolytes and easily digestible food to help the birds recover. While antibiotics don't work against viruses, they may be necessary to prevent secondary infections that can make things worse. Always consult a specialist vet for the best treatment options. Part 5. Recent Research and Vaccines Scientists are working hard to develop vaccines for rotavirus in pigeons. Some labs are in the early stages of creating vaccines that could help protect racing pigeons from this virus in the future. While there's no fully established vaccine yet, these developments are promising and could reduce the frequency of outbreaks in pigeon lofts worldwide. Interestingly, pigeons that survive rotavirus build up a natural immunity which they can pass on to their offspring. This could lead to future generations of pigeons being more resistant to the virus. However, until a vaccine becomes widely available, prevention and strict loft management remain the best defense against this dangerous virus. In conclusion, rotavirus is a significant challenge for racing pigeon breeders. 
It can devastate lofts, causing illness and death, but with careful prevention and management, we can reduce its impact. Remember to keep your loft clean, support your pigeons' immune systems, and always seek veterinary advice if you suspect an infection. As passionate breeders, it's our duty to stay informed and protect our pigeons from threats like rotavirus. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more expert content on racing pigeon health and care. Hit the like button, leave a comment with your thoughts or questions and share this video with fellow pigeon fanciers. Make sure to click the notification bell so you never miss an update. Together we can keep our pigeons healthy and strong. Hello everybody, here we are back again at Ask the Vet for another topic that was in our comments. This is about, in general, young bird disease syndrome. So I'll ask some questions, I'll read some questions that we got. One question was from Emmanuel Go. Young bird disease can be confusing because there are many symptoms similar. Is there a sure visual way to distinguish amongst adeno, paratyphoid and rota? That's a question. Another question was from Palomas Mensajeras. I don't know if I pronounced correctly. What is the best way to prevent adenovirus? And we had some similar questions. Now, young bird disease syndrome is something that has been for years a kind of a mystery. I know in a lot of articles there was always said, or in a lot of cases said, that adenovirus was the cause, but we have discovered this is actually not really true. In the 90s, we found a lot of adenovirus in those cases, but never scientists were able to get people sick with those specific symptoms with infection with adenovirus. So it was a mystery. They Sometimes they found adenovirus in that syndrome. Sometimes they didn't, did not find it. In a lot of cases, they did not find it. Sometimes they found circovirus. Sometimes they found herpes, but not always. And of course, since Rota, we actually know now that it's probably the primary cause cause of young bird disease syndrome. Specifically, what does rota virus infection in pigeons cause? The first thing pigeons, the young pigeons get is they stop eating and they get a watery crop. So there's water in the crop and they are not hungry anymore. So they start to lose weight because of that. A couple of hours after that, they start vomiting. This is actually typical rotavirus infection and now we are sure this is the primary cause because when we infect pigeons, when scientists have infected pigeons with rotavirus, they got exact that those symptoms. So when you see that those three things, you are almost certain or there's a, a big probability you are dealing with rota. Of course, there are secondary infections that can uh, complicate the disease, like adeno, like E. coli bacteria. Of course, when there's paratyphoid in the pigeons, this can also complicate the situation. Herpes, circo. So all those other agents can also complicate the situations in those young birds. But we have seen that rota is really the thing you can try to work on. And so how do you prevent this disease, try to prevent this by vaccinating and that has really, really good results. If you vaccinate on time and you vaccinate a couple of times, so two times, for example, for young birds, certainly in colonies where there, there are problems, you really can battle the disease and the pigeons get immunity. It doesn't mean that all symptoms will disappear completely, but in a lot of cases, they disappear really completely. And if you see a symptom like a little bit vomiting, then it is only one day and the day after the pigeons are already healthy again because they have a lot of antibodies because of the vaccination. So rota vaccination is really an answer for this disease. Okay, thank you.